What's up, Dice Crew? We got Quando Rondo sitting down with Vlad. And Quando Rondo pretty much shuts down Vlad from continuously speaking on the whole situation with King Von that led to, you know, him losing his life. So shout out to King Von and everybody that care about him. That's just me briefly introducing the whole topic. But let's tune in to see what all Quando Rondo got to say. I'm going to keep it a Benji for y'all doing the reaction. Y'all keep it a Benji for me in the comments. Shout out to the Dice crew. Let's rock. You did an interview with Angela Yee in the back of your car. And that wasn't my car. That was a rental. Oh, okay. Well, it was a Rolls Royce, right? Yeah. Nice that car. Wasn't mine. Okay. But you did an interview and you talked about the incident that happened. And you said that you and King Vaughn never had any issues. In fact, the last conversation was a good conversation. I'm, uh... Can we talk about this at all? But, bro, only thing I got to say about that whole little situation to answer to everything you want to answer, I just explained to you about how, like, just the old Tupac Baby Lane situation, how it was real people back then, and they didn't follow trends. Or if they knew this was real or that was real, they was with it, they stood behind that. Man, this is 2018 all the way to nine. Bro, everything is a trend. It's a, if this is a trend to hate me and my brothers and my family and my entourage and whoever else, if it's a trend to do that, even if we not wrong, if the trend is going to get them more notoriety, that's what they're going with. But, man, Black, I'm going to tell you this, man. And, and, and my partner Flash called me one day and said this, even though I've been thinking about it. But sometimes it's time to close that door on certain situations. Well, I just want to say that I feel you're 100% right in that situation. But and, I, and I'm going to say that not, not because you're standing in front of me, but I feel you're 100% right but in that situation. At this point, man, it don't even matter, man. I just want everybody to move on. And you know... <clears throat> I definitely get where Quando Rondo is coming from because it's nothing but a negative light. So as long as that keep being the topic, it's going to always be this certain type of negative light on him, his image, and his career. Probably even affect him financially, even just his peace of mind in life. And it is probably a percentage of individuals who don't have no dislike for that situation and totally understand it and have respect for it. But... You got people who's real King Von fans. You got people that's like the longer, the more times that Quando Rondo speak on it, the more chance that somebody can feel offended or he's constantly opening more, uh, opening wounds back up for certain people who's trying to heal. I mean, I definitely get where he coming from. Now, on the other hand, though, it's just not really in his control fully now he can control it as far as not answering or in go indulging in those type of conversations pertaining to king von but other people are gonna probably always bring that up and use that situation as a reference and close that door so whatever behind that door let it get dealt with behind that door other than that man it's time to move on bro i want to bro i'm trying to get somewhere else. I ain't none of these young dumb niggas no more, bro. I ain't, bro. I don't care what nobody think no more. I'm not, I'm not going. If if you slap me in front of everybody, I'm not about to come kill you, bro. Not because once I kill you and you die and I go to prison and. 15 years pass and I'm in a damn cage. Everybody who said I went out bad for getting slapped and didn't do nothing is going to eventually grow up, get older and say he went out bad for killing him for forgetting fuck about it. Now, I'm going to say this. I don't think that you should just, you know, cause that level of harm upon somebody for slapping you. But I also feel like if you choose to try to slap somebody, you have to assume that that might be the result. You never know when you engage with somebody and you try to cause harm to them. And I'm also not saying that you should run around here just letting people slap you. But, you know, try your best to, you know, return some level of action that would be justified and it would make sense for them slapping you. But I hope y'all get where I'm coming from.
slap. Bro, I understand that. And I got more than majority of the people that always put a comment down about budge eyes. So it's like, but bro, I'm trying to get somewhere. I'm trying to get into these stocks you talking about and all that. Well, I just want to say this, man. And, and we talked about Tupac. The situation really reminds me about what happened to Tupac. If you really look at it. Man, let's just close the door on that, though, man. Fair man. enough. Like, you know it is what it is, man. Fair enough. And, and ultimately, and I just want to say this. Since our last interview, and most recently, Lil' Tim was basically cleared of any wrongdoings, and you guys have moved on, and I feel that you were in the right, and we'll we'll just end it at that. Yeah, and cool. Vlad, I'm going to be the person to tell you this, because other artists ain't going to say this. Please don't put no caption and put... I got you. You, you got me? I got you. Cause I don't want that. I got you. Now, to me, I feel like we do gotta highlight the level of thinking that Quando Rondo is dealing with at this moment. Cause that was some sharp thinking for him to tell Vlad, like, be cautious on how you title this video and what type of captions and so on and so on. Because you know how Vlad get down or how a lot of content creators get down. And they can just make the title more spicy, draw the audience over there, then they gotta see what really was said and all that. And also, if the wrong title was out there, it can become some new wave of drama, you know, whether it's just social media wise, verbally or even something that might take place in the streets. And he, he, you know, he also just wouldn't indulge in that conversation any further. He just kept telling Vlad, like, let's close the door on that, you know. Because when you speak on them type of situations, people can always feel like you high signing, you glorifying, you bragging, being cocky, arrogant, being distasteful. So many different ways people can view that, you know, and he probably feel like he didn't spoke on that enough. And it is what it is. But Vlad definitely want to get his point across. And I kind of get the concept, you know, to a certain degree. Um, you know, it's a big topic right now in life as far as hip hop. So I understand it, but at least Vlad uh, respected Quando Rondo wishes, and he definitely didn't really title this video a crazy title. So at least shout out to Vlad for that, and shout out to Quando Rondo for his level of thinking, and again, shout out to King Von and everybody that care about him. Shout out to the Dice Crew. Y'all let me know what y'all think about all that in the comments. I'm going to check with y'all in the next video. I'm out.